Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Prince Almanus God Selections here for Saturday, October 26th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a loss in the NBA with Trey Young under three and a half made threes at minus 121 on Caesars. Unfortunately, we did beat a big line move. Line closed at about minus 145. Didn't matter. We dared Trey Young to shoot well from three. He really didn't, but the issue was the volume was so crazy that he eventually went over. Young attempted 14 three pointers and he made five of them. Couldn't really have accounted for that. He hadn't attempted that many threes in a long time, but the volume eventually killed us, and we picked up a loss. Let's look for a winner here on Saturday. But I just play the remind once again, the more plays at our website. Check out our website when you do. Use the promo code WEH4US25 to get a 25% discount. Results in description. Plus a reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the bell, so you get notified every an episode. And for the actual play, going to college football, going to look at a night game in the Big Ten between Penn State and Wisconsin, taking place at around 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, to go with the Penn State team total under 28.5 points at minus 135 on DraftKings. Time recording of 6.30 a.m. Eastern time. Covers where I'm going to go with the team total under here for Penn State. First reason Penn State offensively has been fine lately. Not amazing, as Penn State has scored less than 28 points in two of its last three games. Plus, Wisconsin has been great defensively, which has been, uh, I'd say, a storyline before the Badgers turn around the season. They've won three straight games. Main reason, they have allowed 16 points combined in their last three games. So Wisconsin's defense has been underrated lately, and I do think it should look good at home in this night game. Now, both teams also play at a pretty slow pace. Penn State plays at the 26th slowest pace in the country. Wisconsin does rank 68th in pace. So both teams not exactly trying to go no huddle, and I expect Penn State to potentially milk clock if they're up late in this game. But you're looking at the, also, at the uh, scheduling spot for Penn State, Really not great. Now, they beat USC in overtime on the road in their last game, had a bye week, and they faced off against Wisconsin now. Next week, home game against Ohio State. So you can argue that next week's the most important game of the regular season for them, and I wonder if a road game against an unranked team might be a potential letdown spot. We'll see, uh, but the point is I do think Penn State might be looking ahead a little bit, at least maybe in the second half if they're winning, to the game against Ohio State, and maybe they're going to try to just keep everybody healthy and to, once again, try to not get anybody injured uh, right before the actual biggest game of the season. But you're looking at the actual play calling for Penn State, and they do love to run the ball. Penn State ranks 103rd in pass attempts per game, and they rank 27th in rush attempts per game. Over the last three games, though, Wisconsin's been pretty good against the run, allowing just 131.3 rushing yards per game, which is uh, 47th best in the nation. So I think Wisconsin will be trying to, once again, focus on trying to take away Penn State's ground game. They do love to, uh, I'd say, run the ball with their, I'd say, solid running backs. And I do think that our, despite having a decent reputation, is fine. The offense, though, is built around the run, and I do think they're going to try to keep our uh, potentially with some deep shot opportunities uh, by running the ball. But I think Wisconsin will be doing a pretty good job of keeping their rushing attack in check, which should result in a low scoring game for Penn State. Plus, we're looking at the actual record that James Franklin has off the bye. Overall, not great. Since he's becoming Penn State's head coach, Franklin is only three and six straight up against Big Ten opponents after the bye. So even though it's a good scheduling spot for the sake of having extra prep time, Franklin hasn't really done much with that in years past. So I think that there might be a bit of an upset looming potentially in this matchup. Now, you're also looking at the crowd atmosphere. Should be great. Night game in Camp Randall. A lot of drunk fans. I know for a fact since I was there for four years. The atmosphere is going to be a bit crazy. And I think that it should definitely cause some struggles early in the game, especially for Penn State offensively with the noise trying to maybe impact play calling, etc. But I think you're looking at a spot where Penn State could still win this game. But 28 and a half is a lot of points. You're looking at a road game at night in a pretty hostile environment where you have scored less than 28 points in two of the last three games. You play at a slow pace. You love to run the ball. And Wisconsin defensively has allowed 16 points in the last three games combined. It's one thing to potentially get to 28, but getting four touchdowns and then another score on top, it's asking a lot, especially with the pace you're going to play at. I see Penn State scoring, but I think that they're going to end up trying to drain clock late. I see them getting to around 24 in this game, but 28 and a half is too many. I am going to go with the under because of it. Well, then once again, here for Saturday, October 26th, going to be on Penn State team total under 28 and a half points at minus 135 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.